Right. Hi, Rich Kimbert here, the Civil War Traveler, and I'm here with Park Ranger Brian DeRoche at Blakely State Park, and I'd like to ask Brian a question or two about Civil War venues here in Mobile for those who may be interested in coming to the Mobile area to tour the history and enjoy the beaches. Hey, Brian, how are you today? Oh, excellent. Good deal. Hey, thank you for your time, and I was wondering if you could maybe just tell us uh, about some places that are Civil War rev relevant to the greater Mobile area and places that you would think fellow Civil War enthusiasts would enjoy seeing it around the area. Sure. Um, I'm obviously biased uh, being a ranger here at Blakely State Park. Um, but you have Blakely, you have uh, some sites down in Spanish Fort, four miles to the south. Um, it's got a lot of urban sprawl on the battlefield, but there's certainly stuff you can see if you have a map. And there's very good maps for that. Um, you can go down to Fort Morgan and Gulf Shores. You can go to Fort, G uh, Fort Gaines on Dolphin Island. Uh, Magnolia Cemetery in Mobile has I want to say six Confederate generals in it, and it's got uh, a couple hundred um, Confederate soldiers buried in it. Uh, Kate Cummings, one of the only Confederate nurses to keep a journal. She's a she was a Scottish immigrant. She's buried in Mobile um, at uh, Magnolia. Um, we'll see. Uh, you can go to Citronelle, um, the McGee Farm, the site of the surrender of uh, the Department of uh, Alabama, Mississippi, and East, uh, East Louisiana. Um, that surrender site is still there. The house is actually still there. Um, if you want to go to Pensacola, uh, we have Fort Pickens, Fort Barrancas. Uh, I'm not sure as to the accessibility of both of them. I think one is off limits and the other one is. I might be wrong about that. Um, one I want to say is on the naval base at uh, NAS Pensacola. Okay. Um, of course, you can drive to New Orleans um, and see Confederate Memorial Hall, which I highly recommend. They have an excellent collection of Civil War artifacts, uh, mostly Confederate stuff. But to include, include Lady Slocum, who had an appearance here in the Mobile campaign, did you know? Yeah, she was around. Uh, there's a little bit of controversy as to who actually owns Lady Slocum, uh, depending on who you listen to. It's either the guys that served it or the um, the city that it that it, defend, that it defended the Mobile. But it, it rests outside the museum now. I saw it actually a couple weeks ago when I was over there with my wife. So. Um, but there's a lot of stuff to see down here. If you, uh, if you really want to scratch the surface, there's a lot more stuff than I named off. But it's so obscure and not marked, you actually have to know the area to know where you're even going. Um, and then you have to get special permission to access it. Um, as far as, uh, as, as, far as um, any, of the, any of the hospitals or anything like that in Mobile, they don't exist anymore. The, um, the General Maury's headquarters that was in Mobile, um, he commanded the department at the time. He, uh, his headquarters was at the old customs house. Um, and it's no longer here, it's gone. I forgot, I think it burned down, maybe uh, in the early 19th century. And one question about uh, Blakely State Park mm -hmm. uh, in regards to artifact hunting, is that allowed here or is it not? That is absolutely 100% taboo and illegal as all get out. Um, let's just say you don't want to even really think about it, much less try it. It's just not a good idea. Um, we had a big problem with that. Before the park was established in the early 80s, um, people coming in here and looting. And of course, they didn't, you know, there was no park. They weren't really breaking any rules, per se, but they're, at the same time, they're still you know, taking artifacts. And I'm kind of the Indiana Jones mentality. It belongs in a museum, um, not on your mantle. So, but that's just my opinion. So, folks, uh, thank you for tuning in. This is Rich Gimbert, the Civil War Traveler, and I'll see you on the trail.